We are living longer, but the question that I always have is, are we living better? Absolutely. Quality of life as we live through those years is just as important as hitting that number. Investing in your health is just as critical as investing in your retirement. This represents the future of sound advice. Hey, this is Lance McGowan and Tanner Frieger. And today we're going to be talking about how health and wealth are connected and why we created this little mini series on YouTube and why we want to help you out so much. And that quote was by Joseph Coughlin, and he's the director of the MIT Age Lab. And so if you haven't already watched our previous Health is Wealth videos, make sure to check those out. Uh, more information will be in the description below. But we're going to go over in some more details about what this is really all about. We believe wealth and health are linked together. And living well today starts with the habits that we create. So it's an idea rooted by the research by Stanford University on longevity at MIT Age Lab and others. Good health allows people to enjoy their wealth. We can build deeper relationships by helping our clients build better habits as well. Yeah, I mean, that's what it's all about. We know that if our health is not where it needs to be, it's going to cost us more in our finances. And if our finances aren't where it needs to be, then we won't have the money to maintain or improve our health. And so the health is wealth is definitely connected and what you just said shows it even more and so we're going to show that connection a little bit more in some other ways and so the average life expectancy in america has increased by almost 30 years over the last century it's roughly about 79 years old in the u.s and people who take at least 10,000 steps a day are 21 percent more likely to maintain a budget interestingly enough mm -hmm. and you know how much can you save each year with healthier habits it's about $6,000 as we were learning in one of our previous videos and all the savings you can occur yeah. um, by choosing healthier habits and get rid of the bad ones. And then, you know, savings in annual medical costs for, you know, those with heart and cardiovascular disease who exercise regularly, you know, that's about $2,500. And so that is not cheap. And so, you know, heart disease, cancer, and autoimmune disease are the three biggest things that are hitting us as Americans, but it doesn't have to be that way. There's ways that you can slow stop or reverse that and really save a lot. Absolutely. So let's talk about the workplace okay. and some let's of those it. percentages. So in a recent PWC survey, 46% of workers said that they spend three or more hours during the work week taking care of financial issues. And workers who uh, report high financial stress are twice as likely as non-stressed workers to use sick time when they aren't really sick. Mm, so people <laughs> are playing hooky there. Yeah. Right. And then in two thousand, as of uh, two thousand and ten, up to fifty percent of all premature deaths in the U.S. are due to preventable factors such as poor health, diet and uh, lack of exercise. I could definitely believe that, and I would probably say it's more than 50%, um, because in, whether it's cancer or other things that people you know, attribute to a genetic, that's usually like one to 10% is the range that I've heard on TED Talks and even Netflix documentaries. So mm -hmm. I would say probably upward to 80, 90% are due to preventable. Yeah. Yeah, I 100% agree. Yeah, so there is a path to a healthier business, whether you work from home or an executive or work for somebody else as an employee and you know our clients they want more than a number person right more than just the numbers and more than four and five people or 81 percent say it would be very valuable for a financial professional to consider their health when building their financial strategy and i know i do that with regards to you know helping people retire early in the health realm right and so you can definitely have part-time or full-time business and I have videos on all of that on the health side and I know you as you work as a yeah. professional in the financial realm this is something that you help your clients with too so there is another connection though right absolutely so acknowledging the bigger picture with our clients shows the level of commitment um, that separates us from the pack I would say um, people can save up to six thousand a year with healthier habits wow. I know it's so impressive, right? So yes. I love when uh, uh, somebody says, oh, I need help saving. I'm like, perfect. Well, let's get our health on track too. And that will actually end up helping us save more money. And, and we talked about what that was in a previous video. We said it was smoking, right? It was yes. lattes. It was unhealthy snacks, mm -hmm. alcohol. It was packing your own lunch. I mean, there's a lot of ways that we can save and get to that 6,000 number, which is a lot of money if you think about it. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. An affluent 25-year-old 
will live six years longer than someone the same age who is less financially secure. Um, longer clients life, longer professional life, relationships are better, all just because that they're taking care of not only their spiritual needs, but their um, physical and mental needs as well. That's right. And I'll add emotional as well. Yes. So as we're taking care, you know, we have discussions about, you know, we got the health side, we got the business side, we got the relationship side. All those can either be very stressful mm -hmm. or they can be very helpful in our lives. And so, right. And so it's just kind of having that know how. And, you know, there's some good conversation starters because talking about wealth and health naturally leads to conversations about how I know you help your clients and some examples are life insurance. So how better health can make life insurance more accessible and more affordable, mm -hmm. especially through the premiums when you live a healthier diet and lifestyle. There's also employee benefits, you know, how supplemental health insurance can serve those with active lifestyles. There's also annuities, you know, how to build a reliable income stream in retirement. Mm -hmm. There's the Medigap or the annuities aspect too, and how to help pay for health care after age 65, because that's something to keep in mind as well. And there's also investments and retirement. So how to help keep up with inflation as people live longer. You know, that 79 years is the average life expectancy in the U.S., but it's, you know, we are living longer, but the question that I always have is, are we living better? Absolutely. Quality of life as we live through those years is just as important as hitting that number. And, you know, how do we help our clients' money last as long as they do, right? And so, for me, that's helping people with their health so that they spend less of that money and they can focus on things that actually, you know, develop cash flow, like maybe you want to pay off your house or you mm -hmm. want to pay off your credit cards or you want to pay off your car or you want to send your kids to the nicest school or continue to be able to send them to the nicest school or or even just buy supplements or buy things for your, your health that can help you maintain your health and reduce these costs later down the road. And obviously, we have retirement income when we're in retirement so that we can pay for things like food, like yeah. rent, like expenses and bills. Um, how much better would it be if we can reduce some of those on the back end by just taking care of stuff now? Absolutely. And, you know, retirement isn't always just paying all the bills, but being able to sure. enjoy ah. the quality of life as well. So if you're healthier, my guarantee, you're probably going to want to do more activities. There you and go. being able to fund those activities are just as important as being able to probably perform them. So if That's you right. want to go, you know, uh, let's say white roof rafting or, um, you know, jumping out of airplanes or flying airplanes, whatever yeah. might be suitable for you and, and what you want to accomplish. I think that it's it's incredibly important to make sure that you're not just financially healthy, but your health is actually on track and you don't have to worry about those aspects so you enjoy right. the quality of life that you do have. That's right. And you know, I talk a lot about balance, right? So are we balanced emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually, financially? Mm. Was like, did I ever say financially? Yes. Emotional, physical, mental, spiritual, financial. There we go. Five. There's a lot of stuff to be balanced with. There is. Wow. Okay. That's probably why <laughs> a lot of us don't get balanced in all the areas at the same time. Because it's hard to spin plates on your finger and then mm. on your knee and on your hands and all this other stuff. And you're going to keep them going too, right? So, Absolutely. Um, but it's definitely doable, obviously, with videos like this and that basically concludes everything for today. Yeah. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and tuning in and learning more about how you can take care of your health and your wealth. If you liked today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for future video updates, and check out the links in the description. We have a lot of information on Financial Stewardship Academy, how to reduce stress at work, whether you um, go to work at an office or you have your own home office or wherever you're at. Um, and other than that, we'll see you in the next video.